the day of balls AUA wallets course that I also find particularly very val valuable. You need to know how wallets work in DeFi and in the crypto space at this stage. Just a quick little training here for MetaMask. If you're not familiar with MetaMask, this is your uh, portal, your gateway to DeFi, to decentralized finance. So uh, super quick, super easy to use. Uh, mobile or browser extension is where I typically live. So you can engage with these protocols through the mobile wallet, through the browser and connecting directly to them. But this is basically the industry standard as far as wallets go. So very quick, very easy. Uh, just come to the official metamask.io website, click download, and you'll be able to install for Chrome. It'll pick up your browser. I'm using Chrome for this. Uh, stream, but they also have Firefox, Brave, Edge, Opera, etc. It's come under fire recently because of the RPC codes. So basically, the way that the wallet communicates with these protocols, there can be a centralized actor. Right now, MetaMask, the standard, uh, basically pushes you into this Infura RPC, which basically is tracking, or I shouldn't say basically, has announced that they are now tracking your IP address. They're going through making sure that they know everything that you're doing on the blockchain and every transaction, every withdrawal, every swap, you name it. So Infura is this one here. It is the standard, but you can easily change it here. So um, I have used my Ether wallet. This one is free. So what I look for is uh, it's open source. So you can verify with the website. They've been um, a really good service for a long time, since I've started anyways, at least six years. So um, I've used them a lot with Trezor in partnerships with storing my Ethereum and ERC-20 tokens on Trezor. We always used the portal through my Ether wallet at the time. Now it's transitioned a little bit, but uh, they've got their own wallet as well. So in Crypt, I've been playing around with it. It's uh, an alternative to Mask for those that are interested in getting away from MetaMask entirely. But this is crypto. This is open source. This is built by the community for the community to use. So that's where we can innovate faster than they can regulate. We can build faster than they can tear down or restrict. And there's always going to be options for those that are looking for something a little bit different from the mainstream. So I wanted to touch on that really quickly. Uh, we get a lot of questions on the Infura RPC. So you can choose from any of these super quick and easy Phantom Opera or FTM, Avalanche, AVAX, Optimism, you know, OP, or, uh, you know, there's, they're adding more and more, or you can add a network manually here as well. So that's where you would take the RPC URL and just copy the chain ID, currency, symbol, and network name from the uh, main and post it in. So I use my Ether wallet, but uh, you can use the one you want. So do your research. There's lots to choose from. It's pretty quick and easy. It takes, you know, three, four seconds. It's a little bit, I don't want to say intimidating sending that first transaction, but it goes through just fine. I use it all the time and you don't have to worry about them tracking your IP address at that point in time. So there are other technologies coming out as well where um, it's going to be mitigating some of these privacy concerns as we go.